Hi and welcome to this extra lesson because Twinmotion from Epic Games just updated the UI of Twinmotion. What I will do is I will swap between the old 2022 version and the new 2023 version all the time so you can see exactly the difference or if there is any difference. There is, but not as many as you think. So let's jump into it and I'll show you. UI means user interface, just in case you're not sure what it meant. Now, it is not that much different and I like to show you now so it's not like you don't know anymore where you are if you would use the new and latest version. But there are a couple of things that just place them in different spots, but most of the tools are exactly the same. So this one here is the old interface. Well, it's only just old for a week now because it just released a new one. So this is a 2022 version of Twinmotion with the old user interface. Now let me swap straight to the new version, um, which is now a preview version. They call it 2023.1 preview. Preview is still a beta version. That means it's not an official released version but you already have access and that's good because I can teach you the new user interface already. Now, if, I, if you see, I swapped over and let, let me start with the left and the right. So you see, we got the scene graph over here to the right and we got the library on the left and at the bottom here, you got import. Let me swap back to 2022. So you can see this is exactly the same. We got the scene graph, we got the library and we got the import doc down here. If I swap to the new interface, you can see what is additional is this extra um, strip at the very bottom. And I'll show you in a moment how that works. The other bit is at the very top now, we got the gizmo. So if I select the car as example, you see this is the gizmo here. I can move the car around or I change it to be able to rotate it in any direction. So those gizmos uh, little tools up here in the old version, they were here. So all they did, they moved from this bottom strip here right to the top. Again, this is a very small change and easy to get used to. Now, let me close some of those windows now. So in the 2022 version here, you have this triangle, a click, and the same over here, a click. So I got a bigger view of the 3D window. Now the next one would be to click this away and that's what we can't do in the version 2022. If we go now to the new user interface, now how do I get rid of this? The triangles are gone. This way this little strip at the bottom come in. So if I go to the very left, you can see the library here. The icon is blue. That means the library is open. So if I click on this library here, it just disappears. Same over here on the right with the scene. See it's blue, so it's active. So you click on the scene and it disappears. So this now again looks pretty much exactly the same. You can hardly see a difference, but what the new interface can do is they can also hide this quickly. Watch this, if I click on import here, it just hides it away. So that's quite nice and very useful because you can still access some of the um, tools and icons, even up here, but you have a bigger screen. Okay, so let me go back now maybe um, I like to open the scene graph. Okay, let me do the same thing in the old version 2022. Open the scene graph here. Now, if I go back to the new version, if I um, click down here, um, like properties as example, you see it just adds it on like this and I click again and it gets rid of it. If you go back to the old user interface, you can't do that here. It just has here the statistics and you have to click here to actually get different options. So that's a little bit different. Now again, now if I go to the library on the left, let me open the library again. And in the new interface, to reopen the library, all you do is you click there and the library is open. So this is it's exactly the same. So I can click here on materials and I go into materials. If I do this with the old version, click on materials, it goes in, so it's exactly the same and uh, that's great. Like I said, there's very little difference, which is good because otherwise you have to start all over again and get used to the new interface. Okay, let me go back here. Now, what is really different, not just from you know those icons at the top and this whole strip down here, is the following thing. So let me 
for now, let me keep those open on the sides and I click on import. So we get this. There's no additional option here. You can see that's totally the same. So nothing more to explain. So going to the, uh, let's go to the next one here, which is materials. And you can see that's a little bit better to the old version because there's just a bit more space. And if you scroll down, it just shows a little bit more uh, of the different materials in a, in a sort of bigger window. Because if we go back here and remember the materials here, you have to pretty much click and choose a material and then I get this open. And you can see if I go in here now, it's just a lot smaller, but you know, it's the same thing, but I really like it in the new interface because it's a bit bigger. Now, let me go to the next one, populate. Now, if I click populate, you see on the right hand side, something happened. It, it opens sort of a little new window and that's where they move the populate options now. Let me just, you can see by the way, the material is still open because it's blue. So let me click on that blue and it closes it off. So I've got populate here, it's on the right. And then the old version we had, I had to go here. So there you go, you got the path, vegetation paint, vegetation scatter and urban. So if I go to the new one here, we got then the populate here, we got foliage, path and urban. So you see there's a lot, it's slightly bit different. If I go back now, we got path, vegetation, paint, and the scatter. So the scatter is missing. So let me click on foliage here and you get the paint and scatter. Okay, so it's, it's just another click, but it's very easy. Now you have clicked on the foliage. Let me go back to the old version. You know, it is, that's the scatter here, but, and vegetation paint. So I think it's, it's a small thing. So in the new version, I quite like it actually. And then the same thing, if you go to path, you just get all those options where in the old version, I'm going to path and you get the same versions again and you get the same options again. See, they even got the sort of very similar icon. So I think this is quite nicely done. I personally really like the new update. It's just great to work around and, and I really think it's quite easy to get used to. One big thing I have to say is I was, when I started using it the last couple of days to see and work it out, I was actually really struggling to find the, the camera. Let me go back here. So the camera we got uh, in here. So we got the camera, you know, and you got all those seconds here, you even got the visual effects. And also I went to the new version, I had look, okay, I really couldn't find it, you know. So I clicked on this ambience here. And then I clicked on this ambience, Voila, that's where it was. So this is where now the same options are. Let me start with the environment here. So that's the environment. You have the global illumination, the weather, and just keep scrolling down. You've got location, HDR environment, horizon. So that's all in this environment um, option now. Let me go back. So to find this, I would have to go here. First thing I have to find is the weather here. We have the location. And let me go back for, for that HDR environment. You go in lighting here and you got all those options. So you see, it's just a slight different, but again, I find it actually fairly straightforward if you click on something. Let me click on the camera. And again, you got field of view. Obviously that's very straightforward. Depth of view, you open this, you can able, and then you can, you know, just move around with this, unable. And then you got the camera effect. You click in here and again, it comes up with the vignetting, with the lens flare, parallelism. It is exactly the same. Let me go back here. We go to settings, camera. There you go, we got the vignetting, focal points, parallelism. So it really is exactly the same tools that just slightly in a different um, position. Then you go to render. Again, this is exactly the same. Um, miscellaneous, we open this, reflection SSR. So, you know, if you, are, if you swap from the old 2022 and go to the new 2023, I actually encourage you, open an old project, make sure you make a copy, very important, make a copy of it. It actually will ask you when you open it, but I personally, a bit of old school, I make a copy first and open the copy straight away. And then 
just click around, you know, because it is quite easy. And you start clicking around, even FX, you click on here and you can see, oh, that's the saturation. All right, that's where it is. So if I go back here, um, visual effects on the camera, color gradient, contrast, contrast, saturation, same thing. Saturation, color gradient, you know, um, let me scroll up a bit, there you contrast. You got the clay render, you know, you actually just select this and it adds the clay render and you got details further down here. And it's just very, very similar to what we already have. If I go back here, let me go to visual effects, um, clay, and then you got all those little icons you can enable and you can see at the moment, see, yeah, I got the same file open. I have only the characters uh, enabled to make them white. The rest is just a normal color. Same thing here. If I go over uh, to the new UA clay render, color is white. And see, there's a tick on the characters. I can just untick it or you tick it again. It is exactly the same tools. It just looks, see, actually for me, it looks a little bit more pretty, to be honest. Um, it's a really nice update to the uh, it's a really nice update to the user interface great so that's pretty straightforward let me have a look what else we got here if i go to media now with the media option there's one thing that is a little bit different and that is how to get into the media to the actual uh, image as example so if i click um let me go back to the old version so if i want to choose one of my images so i'm going to image here and let me go to number three right we click on number three and then you have to go to more and then you get all the settings. So let me go back to image. So as soon as I click obviously in here on the image, I am in the uh, media mode. Now, what happened is over here in the new user interface is if I click on the image here, I don't get that more button anymore down here because you see on the very right hand side, that's where this pops up now. So if I go back here, I click on more I lose all my images as well. They're hiding, you see it's in the breadcrumbs here. And then you get your option in the new user interface. As soon as I click on an image, I am in media mode. You can see that here. And you can also see, obviously, um, you get all the option popping up over here. So that's, that's a little bit of a change. And the other bit is to find your icons in media mode. I'll show you quickly what I mean with this. Let me go back to the old one. Let me go to media here. And see, there you go. Like, before I go anything, anywhere, so this, the, all, those are all the icons I've got in media. Click here and you got all the icons. So if I go to the new interface, I just click media down here and that's where the icons are. So that's a new image, that's a new video. If you're not sure, just hover over them and it actually tells you what to do and what it is. So it's quite easy to learn. Let me go back to the old interface. Those are all those icons down here the same with if i want to export let me click on export and we go to the new interface which is here i click export and it's coming over here let me get rid of this and this is over here instead of down here it just pops in on the side so it's a small difference you know getting used to it in the setup instead of at the bottom it's just on the right now but it's exactly the same okay it ha it's just the same settings so you can um, click on video, you can choose your format, MPEG, PNG, and so on. Uh, you got details, motion blur. See, it's, it does exactly the same setting, even refinement. You got the refinement here. If I go back here to my video more, um, see, MP, uh, MP4, refinement, click on here, off, low, medium, high. We got the new one is off, low, medium, high. So. It's, it's really nicely done that they did not jumble around everything and everything is new, all the, there's new tools, new icons and everything. No, it's not. So it is really nicely done. And I encourage you to use this new um, user interface, but only for tests and for learning because it is not officially released yet. So any project work you do, this is quite possible. If I work on this for a while, it, it could suddenly crash on me. And that's why it's called 2023.1 preview. It's a preview version only. And preview, I'm not sure why Trimotion calls a preview because preview is like a beta version. 
and anybody that has been uh, for a while working with computer knows beta version it's not the final version beta version will have bugs you will have your crash and you might even lose work so for now unless you get an official release of the new 2023 version with the new interface i really totally recommend use it for trial learn it but don't use it for official project work especially if you have deadlines okay now before i leave you with this to digest everything i just told you there's a really really good update actually and i'll show you this now with this new user interface let me go to the preferences so i'm going here preferences and what they did is if i go to appearance and i find this extremely clever you can adjust the interface scale depending on the screen you use see some people use 4k screens my screen is still a normal 2k hd screen and if i open it that's the way it looks right now it's on 100 percent but let me let me change this now let me see ah uh, i want it about 133 percent so i want the user interface to look bigger so you go here and that's all you do is you click ok and what happens that everything looks bigger okay yes i have obviously less space but you know if you've got problem with reading stuff um, let me maybe open this one here it's just bigger you know and depending on your screen resolution it will look different for mine with the normal hd resolution 133 percent that's how it looks now let me go back here and we go to our preferences again appearance and i put it back to 100 and this time i'll make it even smaller so we go to preference and we go to appearance and i make it only 75 percent so you see the icons getting quite small but obviously you have even more space in this window here without closing all that i actually think it's quite nice this window is quite large now without having to close those because many times you do have them open to actually work in it it makes sense you need to use your scene graph you need to use you know the library um, so i think that's an excellent option you are able just to choose the percentage of your user interface display depending on your screen resolution i mean that's that's quite amazing and i, I really think it's an excellent addition to the user interface of twin motion okay that's all about the new user interface and it's time for you to enjoy it